covering every county. This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. The president withheld congressionally approved military aid to Ukraine, a country under siege, not to fight corruption, but to extract a personal political favor. The entire premise of these articles of impeachment rests on a pause placed on Ukrainian security assistance, a pause of 55 days. Members of the House of Representatives gathering on the floor for what is expected to be a historic day. House members debating and voting on two articles of impeachment against President Trump. We want to pause and take a live look inside the hearing in Washington happening right now. Cuando nadie está sobre la Constitución y todos somos sujetos a las leyes. Y hoy también le pido a Dios que nos dé sabiduría y que nos ayude a unir a nuestra querida patria, los Estados Unidos Americanos. And today I pray for God for his guidance in uniting our great nation. And with that, Mr. The gentleman from New York, I yield. The gentleman, gentleman will be required to provide a translation of, of your remarks. And you are taking a live look inside as they are debating at this time. Ahead of the vote this afternoon, lawmakers in the midst of one final lengthy debate. NBC's Susan McGinnis has the latest. The House will be in order. History unfolds on Capitol Hill. The 45th U.S. president set to become only the third ever to be impeached. Ahead of an expected vote later today, lawmakers debate the two articles of impeachment, charging the president with abuse of power for trying to enlist a foreign power for his own political benefit and obstruction of Congress for blocking lawmakers from investigating his actions. That is what brings us here today to decide nearly two and a half centuries later whether the United States is still a nation where no one is above the law. After six hours of debate in the House, virtually all Democrats are expected to vote to impeach. Republicans in lockstep supporting the president, accusing Democrats of having it in for him since day one. It's going to be a deeply partisan vote coming at the end of an unfair and rushed process prescribed solely by Democrats to ensure a predetermined result. The president acknowledging today's outcome is virtually assured, tweeting, can you believe I will be impeached today by the radical left? Again, asserting he did nothing wrong, asking for a prayer and taking no responsibility for his circumstances. No, I don't take any, uh, zero. After a Senate trial in January, he is unlikely to lose his office, but today finding himself in rare company with only two other presidents in history to be impeached. And neither Presidents Johnson nor Clinton were removed from office. President Nixon resigned before the House could vote on impeachment. Union County drug officials warning the public about possible drug mixing that could be deadly. Two young adults recently tested positive for having fentanyl in their system after having overdose symptoms linked to marijuana use. So far this year, officials say they're not the only ones in Union County. Lauren Beck at South Arkansas Regional Health Center said there have been numerous reports this year. Those that were tested say they're not even sure how the substance showed up in their system, making officials and doctors believe it's not showing up by accident. Different people that have come up positive for fentanyl, seven of them have no idea how it got there. And the eighth person came to me saying something was wrong with my weed. Test me. And fentanyl was in his system and he was terrified. And now moving to Miller County, where deputies are participating in a national enforcement campaign to warn impaired drivers this holiday season. Officers across the country will be looking for impaired drivers during their campaign, which lasts until January 1st. A DWI can include a number of substances like alcohol, over-the-counter medication, marijuana, and narcotics. Uh, we would ask them to be smart and not get behind the wheel of a vehicle where they put themselves and others in danger. That would be a hard thing to live with if you have an accident and, and ruin someone's life or your own life. Law enforcement encourages everyone to use rideshare if you plan to go out and drink so everyone can get home safely. Residents in the Texarkana area going all out with Christmas decorations. The Rankins family puts up nearly 100 inflatables each year. The Rankins say their Christmas tradition started about 15 years ago and has gotten out of control. Their house is filled with lights, trees, floats, and decorations on the inside and out. 
What normally takes the average family a couple of hours to put up takes the Rankins about a week to 10 days. Mr. Rankin encourages everyone in the neighborhood to decorate their homes for the holidays. I just wish that uh, more people would do it. Uh, you know, just get the whole street. You know, when I grew up, the street did do it. Everybody did it. And, you know, there is some neighborhoods around, as you notice, the one that spell out. We wish you a very Merry Christmas, that one. I wish everybody around here would do that, too. The Rankin say people drive past their house every year just to see the setup. A Northwest Arkansas group is working to make the holidays bright for children in need. A toy drive benefiting the NWA Children's Shelter is going on at Grubbs Bar and Grill in Rogers. You're encouraged to stop by and bring a new unwrapped toy. Rachel Bray is the organizer of the toy drive. She says it's important to help these children, especially during this time of year. A lot of these kids at the shelter have never received a Christmas present. They have never even actually even received a present. So this might be their first time to have that experience of a holiday, of a Christmas. Organizers say it's important when picking out a toy, don't forget about the teenagers.